Yes, I got it working again. Check it out. That's my seventh birthday. Whoa, did you see that? What? I just saw something weird. You guys, you gotta see this. There's this footage of me at my seventh birthday. We were all at your seventh yeah. birthday. Just watch this. Right there. Look in the mirror. That's me. That is my t-shirt. That is my backpack. This is definitely me. It doesn't make sense. Project Almanac is a new and pretty unknown low-budget film about a group of friends who find a way to travel in time. It's a so-called found footage film, meaning it's presented as though all of it is real, filmed by the friends themselves and added with surveillance camera shots. It's almost like Chronicle meets the butterfly effect. Okay, so it's about uh, five teenagers who uh, develop plans to build a time machine, or discover plans to build a time machine, and they do, and they start using it for fun and stuff like that, and then things start to get a little out of hand, and we learn that there's some consequences involved with time traveling. Yeah, and um, I find, this. well, Johnny and I find, my brother, uh, find our dad's old video camera, and we start taping all of it. So my character, Christina, films a lot of the movie, uh, that fan footage style. Um, yeah, so a lot of it is, is filmed by her. It's in my dad's old workshop. It's like a clicking or something. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's just some sort of a machine. Here we go, Project Almanac. That's something my dad was working on. Temporal relocation prototype? What does that mean? It means time travel. What? We should try to build it. We can't build a time machine. I mean, did you see the tape at your seventh birthday? I mean, I think we already did build it. <laughs> you guys see this? Oh. Shouldn't the next step be testing it on us? All right. You guys ready for this? Yeah. yeah. The almanac is very much you and your five, like your four best friends, if you actually built this thing and could do whatever you wanted. I think it's just such a naturalistic look at that, those relationships. And... Right, and, and then like I was saying, all the irresponsibility of a high school we're running around <laughs> using the machine right. for just incredibly Screwing selfish up. reasons. <laughs> yeah. and, and it just kind of, you know, turns over. Right. I th it's definitely a time travel movie, but it's more about like, our friendships and this dynamic that we have, and it's like, I think it really plays well, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and, we and got to... the found footage keeps it so real and, yeah, like, it feels so and relatable. Real. It's like, it, it looks, I mean, I think it looks like you're watching these these five kids and, and, and for kids to see and be like, you know, what would I do? And I feel like a lot of people would do a lot of the same things that we did, which was, you know, which makes it really relatable. We invented time travel. It's like a second chance machine. Well, let's take this thing out for a spin. I just failed my chem report. Well, it's a classification of silicon. Silicon? Are you kidding? And I don't want to repeat 12th grade. I'm going to groundhog dig this bitch. Carbon, nitrogen, nitrogen. oxygen. Ooh, Lou! That just happened! I love time travel. Check it out before the world ends. I have to win the lottery. <laughs> Welcome to Maserati. Before the world ends, I have to fall in love. It's important to have everything. I see.